We turn next to an ABC News investigation, and tonight you're about to be taken where cameras rarely go. A journalist embedded with a team that the U.S. has supported has called an ally in the fight against ISIS, an elite Iraqi special forces unit. But that journalist, a photographer, soon became troubled with the images he was capturing, saying he was witnessing brazen torture. ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, with the troubling images tonight. These dramatic battlefield pictures were made by an Iraqi photojournalist, Ali Arkadi, expecting to document the heroics of Iraqi soldiers working with the U.S. against ISIS. They are against ISIS and they are very strong. But Arkadi says he soon came to learn the soldiers he was embedded with for months from what's called the Emergency Response Division were no heroes. And tonight, he is revealing the graphic images, licensed by ABC News, that he captured of these important U.S. allies carrying out the torture and murder of civilians, only some of which is suitable for broadcast. Was this happening all the time? It's happening all the time. This man, he says, was a sheep herder whose teenage sons were suspected of working for ISIS. There's not even a pretext here of torture in the name of obtaining intelligence. This is just torture for fun. Sadistic. Sadistic. In a remarkable phone call with us, the unit captain, Omar Nazar, admitted the video was real and said he was proud of what was seen on the tape. I'm already a star, he said, and Ali would make me a bigger star by doing this. The soldiers were so proud of what they were doing, they even sent Arkadi horrific phone videos they shot themselves, showing victims they had tortured and murdered. And I don't even have words for it. That's a murder. That's a murder. In a statement, the American embassy in Baghdad told ABC News the U.S. has not provided military aid, arms, or assistance to the unit. Yet senior U.S. military officials in Iraq have praised the unit again and again. And it has been a, a really a fruitful uh, partnership uh, in, uh, in all regards. But you heard the leader there of that unit saying he's proud of the right. images that were captured. In the meantime, the photojournalist clearly putting his life in danger by being the whistleblower here. He's in hiding. That's right, David. He has fled Iraq as in hiding, and he says he received death threats from the very soldiers who thought he would keep their secrets, but he did not. Brian Ross and your team, we thank you.